சென்னையில் புகழ்பெற்று விளங்கும் ஹிந்துஸ்தான் கல்வி நிறுவனங்களின் ஓர் அங்கமான ஹிந்துஸ்தான் கலை மற்றும் அறிவியல் கல்லூரியின் இருபத்தி மூன்றாவது பட்டமளிப்பு விழா கடந்த மார்ச் மாதம் முப்பத்தி ஒன்றாம் தேதி கல்லூரி வளாகத்தில் வெகு சிறப்பாக நடைபெற்றது தலைமை விருந்தினராக தாம்பரம் மாநகராட்சியின் மேயர் மாண்புமிகு திருமதி வசந்தகுமாரி கமலக்கண்ணன் அவர்கள் கலந்து கொண்டார் கௌரவ விருந்தினராக ஸ்பெயின் கான்சுலேட்டை சார்ந்த திரு ஆண்டனி லாபோ அவர்கள் கலந்து கொண்டார் ஹிந்துஸ்தான் கல்வி நிறுவனங்களின் தலைவி டாக்டர் எலிசபெத் வர்கீஸ் இந்நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு தலைமை தாங்கினார் ஹிந்துஸ்தான் கலை அறிவியல் கல்லூரியின் இயக்குனர் டாக்டர் சூசன் மார்த்தாண்டன் முன்னிலை வகித்தார் தலைமை விருந்தினர் கௌரவ விருந்தினர் கல்லூரியின் இயக்குநர்கள் முதல்வர் துறை தலைவர்கள் ஆகியோர் மேடைக்கு அணிவகுத்து வந்தனர் தமிழ்தாய் வாழ்த்து கல்லூரியின் இறை வணக்க பாடலுடன் பட்டமளிப்பு விழா இனிதே துவங்கியது நீராரும் கடலுடுத்த நிலமடந்த கல்லூரியின் தலைவி டாக்டர் எலிசபெத் வர்கீஸ் பட்டமளிப்பு விழாவை முறைப்படி துவக்கி வைத்தார் கல்லூரி முதல்வர் டாக்டர் எஸ் திருமகன் அனைவரையும் வரவேற்று பேசி கல்லூரியின் சாதனைகளை விளக்கினார் மேயர் வசந்தகுமாரி கமலக்கண்ணன் லோபோ டிஸ்டிங்விஷ் சேர்பர்சன் டாக்டர் எலிசபெத் வர்கீஸ் our dynamic director dr susan marthandan dear deputy director dr vj philip vice principal mr samuel sambath kumar convener dr angelin christabel deans heads of departments faculty members my dear graduates parents members from media it's my immense pleasure to give a hearty welcome every year hcas is cherishing in a high level because of our director dedicated service and guidance a vision of our founder chairman is make every man a success and no man a failure our director's vision is as a student of hcas they should be high thinker for life so the father's vision mother's mission and daughter's passion our hcas is getting more and more more than 1100 uh, graduates are getting degree today school of humanities the department of english organized various webinars and guest lectures to keep everyone safe from covid 19 also to share the knowledge of experience the department of language organized webinar on tamilaga nattar kalayilum kalinjargalum the department of also organized international webinar on sair kariya sai on tamilar panbattil agavarvin vilumiyangal the department of social work organized several webinars and commemorated world Su- suicide prevention day world human rights day national cancer day world mental health day and world social work day the department of biotechnology and microbiology organized a national virtual conference on understanding the impact of covid-19 in association with the indian science congress association chennai 
Dr. Yeswar Lakshmi, Dr. Ramesh from Department of Biotechnology received a student project under TNSCST. Dr. D. Elizabeth Rani, head Department of Biotechnology, received a grant of rupees one lakh sixty-two thousand for her concept note and organized three programs in collaboration with the National Institute of Disaster Management, New Delhi. The Department of Electronic Media signed an MOU with the LV Prasad Film and TV Academy. The Department of Visual Communication conducted a guest lecture on art of filmmaking. The Department of Visual Communication along with the Social Work Department conducted hair donation camp for cancer fighters. Department of Visual Communication signed an MOU, uh, international MOU with Bulhora University, uh, Ethiopia. Library. The college library has huge collection of study materials such as textbooks, reference books, national and international journals, magazines, project reports, and also has a collection of 20,517 books, which includes academic reference books and textbooks. HCS has secured five university gold medals in the year April 2021 examinations in BCom Bank Management, BSc Biotechnology, BSc Electronic Media, MSc Information Technology, and MA Journalism and Communication. We have secured 20 university ranks from various departments that two among top 10 ranks. With your wishes and support, HCS will achieve more and more heights in near future. My hearty congratulations to all the graduates. Thank you very much. Hindustan Kalvi Nirvanangalain Thalaivi Thirumadhi Elizabeth Vargis Thalamai Uriyatrinar. As we all know, the most innovations happen during the most disruptive times. The global pandemic has hit us hard and the campuses were closed for almost two years. We have learned to overcome the toughest of times by successfully switching over to online classes through various digital platforms for the benefit of our students, even in remote and far away, far flung areas. During this period, the online education has gained significant momentum. Now, the, the situation abating, the campuses have opened up and the blended learning is likely to be the new norm. At this point, my sincere advice to all the teaching staff is to focus thoroughly preparing our students for a life and career. Today there are plenty of opportunities for the arts and science graduates provided they have the right skill set, attitude, aptitude and the core competencies in their chosen field. A large number of students graduating from arts and science streams are getting employed as there are wider opportunities open to them. In this context, I would like to see that at least 10% of our graduates turn entrepreneurs and job providers so that there will be significant economic resurgence and larger uh, opportunities for many. Graduation is one of the most important events in the academic calendar of any educational institution and the educational journey of the students. However, Passing the exam and getting a degree are not proof of your 100% competence in the field. Rather, it is just a license to aspire for perfection through continuous learning. Everyone may not be able to do great things in, the li in your life, but you can certainly do small things with great passion, provided you have the dream in your mind and the spark in your belly. In an increasingly information-driven world, a basic degree is just a foundation and the students should branch out to their specialization and keep themselves abreast on the latest developments in their chosen field to move with the tides of change as your analytical talents will be in great demand. You must be thankful to God for this beautiful life, for giving you the opportunity and all the good things and good people in your life your family, your parents, your teachers, your good friends, and the institution that made you what you are. I am proud to mention here that many of Hindustan alumni are occupying very covetable positions in leading industries, business houses, and corporate world, and in their own business in India and across the globe. And many are doing extremely well in their professional life and are the brand ambassadors of Hindustan. I take this opportunity to once again congratulate all the graduates, their proud parents, and also the faculty 
for their achievement and wish them all the very best in their future career and academic pursuits with excellence. Thank you. Jai Hind. Gauro Virindinar, Thiru Anthony Labo, Sirapurayatrinar. In the recent news item, the problem today is education where many of the government run institutions do not possess quality teachers which are so important for building the future of the student. So private institutions like this is required to fulfill the requirements of the students in this fast changing world. And I'm happy that the Hindustan College of Arts and Science has taken the lead in this direction. This is a very important time in your career because unlike earlier where India was a closed economy, jobs were possible only here and limited to the best of the few passing out from a limited number of institutions. After liberalization in the 90s, the whole world is opened and with hundreds of universities bringing out thousands of students, the challenge of a good placement, though available, is increasing. Today we have 50% of Indians less than 25 years of age and 16 to 18% are jobless. So though there's a great potential available here itself, the jobs are limited. So nothing stops you to look at opportunities worldwide. The whole world is available at your fingertips. You need to go out and grab the opportunities available with both hands. The main handicap I see here is the language problem. Being in Chennai, all of you are quite uh, fluent with English and Tamil and some of you may be fluent with Hindi as well. But that would keep you only in the south or in Chennai or maximum India you might go for a job. And many of you all would not like to leave Chennai for whatever reasons. This is where you should look at learning one more foreign language which will help you in the future. Any language, it could be Japanese, Korean or even Spanish. I represent Spain, so I talk a little bit about Spain. Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world after Mandarin. And if you go to Europe, apart from Spain and South America and North America, it is only Spanish which will get you through. So try to learn Spanish and if you're looking at learning Spanish, please keep in touch with us and we'll put you into the best schools possible. Depending on the type of business or industry you decide upon, you would need to develop your business strategy and approach the markets accordingly. This is where business intelligence plays a very important role and you must make it a habit to gather information from all sources and levels. Your mind should be like a sponge absorbing all that is around you because information is power and power is money and money is happiness. Thank you once again for the opportunity to address you all at this very highlight campus of the Hindustan College of Arts and Crafts. Thank you again. Kalurian Yekunar, Dr. Susan Marthandan, Talame Virindinarai, Arimugam Saidu Vaitar. Indeed, today is a very wonderful and special day because we are having this graduation day for our students and we have close to 1,150 students who are graduating and receiving their degree from the University of Madras. Indeed, we've never had such a huge number of students passing out. And thanks to the uh, COVID pandemic, more than 400 more students have passed out this year than we had uh, last year. So that itself uh, deserves a round of applause. Usually we have around 600 to 700 students, but this year we have 1,150. And uh, I'm sure all of you are very happy to receive your degrees. We have a very uh, distinguished chief guest, and you are going to be receiving from, uh, I think, one of the youngest chief guests we've had for our graduation day itself. A very young and dynamic lady who's taken up the post of uh, mayor of Tambaram Corporation. And along with her, we have the consul general of Spain and the chairperson. But I do want to say that uh, we are extremely grateful that from the Dr. Casey G. Varghese Charitable Foundation, we have the prizes for the uh, first prize winners, uh, the gold medalists from the University of Madras, and not just for them, but for 18 uh, students who are receiving up to the 10th rank. At this time, I'd like to give a brief introduction about our uh, distinguished chief guest. 
Srimati Vasantha Kumari Kamala Kannan won the councillor election in the 32nd ward and was elected as the unopposed first mayor of the newly established Tambaram Corporation in 2022. A person of simplicity sets an example for the younger generation by becoming a mayor at the young age of 25. I want to also end these uh, words with a quote from the words of Fatemi. At the end of the day, you are the only one that is limiting your ability to dream or to actually execute on your dreams. Don't let yourself get in the way of that. Wish all our dear graduates all success in your life and all blessings of God in the days to come. Thank you. Talamai Virindinar, Thambra Managrachi in Mayor, Manbumigu, Thirumadi Vasanthakumari Kamalakannan, Patamali Pura Yatrina. In a Patinari in a Sonanga, you know, the family and a first graduate. Adamatola in the graduation, Ebdi and a Kersi Abdina, now on the Romba Tata Potapurmutal and the Vanda Pinda. Padipu Abdin Razanda or Edrupara, the Yatala in the Engelke. Pananda, the Varicana, Arasu, Yanele Paliladam Padicha, Padicha Murcha, the Kapron College, Abdin Arma, the Anakor, Asa and the Chi, Chemical Engineering Abdin Raza Padikan of Abdin Razaka. May Ragrazaka Padipu Avolo Mukia, Abdin Raza. Nah, nanti election na face pun mau dah pati. Ena, yang lark me dari om political na, yang ada support rendah, bandru angga abin soltu solu angga abdi. Alang, yadu me kadi adi. Ena, me abin race la bandi, yang kuda wari yel per rendah angga. Nampol de tambra mana kerja chile. Ana angga yel per la, nama tu nda chemical engineering graduate abin kerja nala, yang nak first preference kerja chile. Me ager aja. Padi pun yang dah lalu ke wari mukia tu, yang nak kurter kerja kerja ni, nana pun manusia orang orang raya. Ena, ninggal ini dah tertala bandar kering na, jodoh saudara na. பல்களைக் கடகாலவில் ராங்குகள் பெற்ற மானாக்கர்களுக்கு உக்கத் தொகையும் சான்றிதழ்களும் சிரப்பு விருந்தினர்களின் பொர்க்கரங்களால் வழங்கப்பட்டது ஓவரு துரை தலைவர்களும் தேர்ச்சி பெற்ற மானாக்கர்களை அரிமுகம் செய்து வைக்க மேடியில் வீட்டிருந்த முக்கிய விருந்தினர்கள் மானாக்கர்களுக்கு பட்டங்களை வழங்கினர் பட்டமளிப்பு விழாவில் இருபத்தி மூன்று துறைகளைச் சார்ந்த ஆயிரத்திற்கும் மேற்பட்ட மாணவ மாணவிகளுக்கு பட்டங்கள் வழங்கப்பட்டன திருமகன் உறுதிமொழியை வாசிக்க பட்டங்களை பெற்ற மாணாக்கர்கள் உறுதிமொழி எடுத்துக்கொண்டனர் We shall in thought, word and deed, ever endeavor to be scrupulously honest in the discharge of our duties Student Chaplain in Thanksgiving Prayer மற்றும் தேசிய கீதத்துடன் இவ்விடா இனிதே நிறைவுற்றது Jai 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 Jai